Back at it again, Funky Factory here, and today we're going to be doing a different kind of video. So instead of gameplay today, we're going to be doing a comparison of Shadowplay, OBS, and XSplit. I'm going to be talking about the file size, the quality, and just the user interface, and... Who the fuck is calling me? So... We're going to dig right into this. We're going to just go out on the video player. Hopefully, you can kind of get a feel of it. Eh. I'm gonna skip to the gameplay. I think it's at what 120, 118. Um, but okay. So the first thing on OBS, if you notice, I'm gonna talk about is a little stutter when you're, whenever it records, there's a little stutter. I don't know why. But you can tell like right there, right there, right there. Almost like if it's lagging, like if the actual gameplay is lagging, it makes it look like if your game's lagging. I know the FPS is a little low, but. I think that's just because of the game settings, but it just makes it like your actual recording stutter sometimes. But the quality is pretty good. The audio quality is kind of like iffy. Sometimes it's on point, sometimes it's off. Almost like if they speak and then the voice comes after. But if you notice, the quality is pretty good. The actual quality is like pretty good. The video, except for the stutter, that's the only thing that gets gets it. So. We're gonna switch over to Shadow Play. This one is pretty smooth. The quality is pretty close to the actual gameplay. Taylor, the version is in play. Bird is down. There's no stutter at all. Keep going, keep going. The audio quality is pretty good too. It's kind of loud. Not too loud though. Like. It sounds almost like if you're just playing the game, pretty much. So not too bad. Well, they're busy dealing well it with stays really pretty, pretty, pretty smooth, pretty smooth, pretty, pretty, pretty smooth. OBS, I don't know if you've just noticed, but it drops your frame rate like by two or three frames per second. Not too much, Security stations but away a little bit, and you can feel it Once when you're playing. Shadow play is pretty the smooth. Exact location. The quality Heads is pretty good too. Keep it cool until we make the grab. I'll follow like where you can notice it most is when you're on the actual gun is when you notice it So we switch it to X split okay right off the bat. I don't know if you've seen that it's when you start off the recording It's it's like a little stutter in the beginning I don't know why because it takes like a little bit to initialize the recording on the settings the on the little hub But when you go to the actual gameplay It's pretty smooth too it doesn't drop your frame rate at all that much. Taylor, the version is in play. But if you Taylor. notice, it's a little more blurred. Like you can tell on the letters mostly, on the subtitles. They're a little, little, they're a little less sharp, and then they're more like blurred. I don't know if you can tell. Xplit audio quality is pretty good too. The video quality is good, but it's at 30 FPS. The video quality is a little less better than OBS and Shadowplay. The only thing that dropped it is just it's blurred. Maybe if you get the premium version and you get 60 FPS at 1080p, it'll look a lot better. And you get to customize a little bit more. But if you have the free version, it, minim it, mil it limits you to 30 FPS on 720p. And if you notice, it's a little more blurred. Everything's a little less sharp. You could barely notice it, but not too much. But... That's the footage. And okay, the second thing I wanted to talk about is uh the file size. So I dumbed down Shadow Play to the lowest settings. It's at uh, 60 FPS at 10 megabytes per second. The bit rate's at 10 megabytes per second. If you don't know, OBS, my settings are at mm, 6,000, 6 megabytes per second bit rate. That was the smoothest I could get on my computer. I key interval frame 4. The f resolution is at 1360 by 768. And they're all at 720p. So, kind of same. And this one's at 60 FPS too. But I wanted to talk about the file size. 
And X splits on 720p also at 30 frames rates per second. And the bit rate is automatic. You can't mess with it. On Shadowplay, the file size is the biggest. 207 megabytes. But you get a little bit more better quality. The audio is pretty good too. OBS, it's the smallest, 121 megabytes. That's just because the bit rate. If you up it up your settings though on OBS, the file size increases no matter what. The better the quality, the better the file, bigger the file size. And that goes for Shadowplay too and XSplit. So 121 megabytes OBS. Audio quality was kind of dumbed down. Video quality was there, but the audio quality is kind of iffy. And the stutter, that stutter that's there, I don't know if it's my settings or what, because OBS depends a lot on what settings you use. So, yeah, that depends on you, I think, a lot on your computer. But OBS is most most customizable. It's most recommended for live streaming. That's what I heard. Or that's what my friends tell me and everybody else that I talk to. They always have problems with the audio quality. I don't know why. They always have to overlay it again. XSplit, it's the most, I guess, easy to use because you could just start it up while you're in the game. And it just starts up by itself automatically once the game is started. And you just hit Control Tab and it opens up a little hub where you could choose when to record, stream it, mute your mic, everything like that. It's the most versatile. XSplit's the most versatile, I guess, to use. Because especially if you have the premium version, because you can like draw on it and stuff, put little, like little customizable things that you would like. But yeah, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I prefer Shadowplay. It's the smoothest for me. It doesn't lower my FPS. My, uh, my, uh, what's it called? The quality is pretty good. My settings are all the same. I lowered it down though. That way the file size is smaller. Because if you have it on the normal settings, the file size is just crazy. I think like 5 minutes is a gigabyte something. But I lowered it down. And OBS, it's I think it would be the best for live streaming. You have to get the settings right though. So you have to know what you're doing with the OBS. XSplit, easiest to use. It limits you to 30 FPS though if you have the free version. So that's the shucky part. And it lowers the. Uh, Minimizes it to 720p also. So, I don't know. It's up to you in the end which one you prefer. You could try all of them, but Shadowplay, best quality. OBS, best customizability. XSplit, most versatile. versatile. You could like do a lot of stuff with your videos and it's more easy to use. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of fast and simple, but I just wanted to point out a few things that each recording software does, has. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helps you out. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. And thank you guys for watching. And a share would be appreciated. Thank you, you guys. See you next time.